good day, and good stuff. All right, so folks, let's start out. Make sure GIMP's open, file new. Set it to just the default setting, 640 by 400. Click on OK. What we're going to do first is we need to set a sort of dark gray background in order to make our simple logo. So let's go ahead here. Uh, let's get our paint bucket. Let's go to our color selector and let's go ahead with a dark gray color. Okay, I've already got mine selected, but for you, just pick a white and then just dial the black over like that and that will get you your color. But I'm going to pick it. So you just go like that. So I'm going to pick this gray color. Get your paint bucket out. Okay, got that nice gray color now, sort of a charcoal. Okay, next step is we're going to make uh, two lines of text. Okay, so we're going to do the first line of text pure white. So collect our text tool. Let's go here, color, set this to white. Okay, all right, I'm going to change. You know, I've, I've told you before, I'll tell you again, I'm a Garamond man. I'm going to set that to, we'll say about 40. Mm. Yeah, 42. Also, in this case, we're going to disable hinting. Okay, so disable hinting. Now, what I'm going to do is, we just, it, as long as it's school appropriate, it doesn't matter. We're going to put something that has two lines of text. Okay, so let's go ahead here. I'm going to do New Hope Academy. Okay, don't worry, it's, it's too far to the right. We can fix that. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our Move tool. And here's the key. Don't click on the box, because if I move the box, if I click on the box, it moves the background layer. What you have to do is you actually have to click on your ladder in order to move it. Okay, you have to click on something that's actually in that box. So we're going to move that over so it's a little bit more centered. Okay, now we're going to do our second line. All right, text tool. In this case, we're not going to do white. We're just going to make it a little darker. Okay, so it's sort of a off color white. So there we go. Not as dark as our background color though. All right, so New Hope Academy and we're going to put here Charter School. Okay, again, oh no, it's not perfect. Get our move tool out. Okay, I'll move that. And let's make that, let's put it a little bit offset. Like let's put a little bit to the right of the Y in Academy. So there we go. So, pretty good. I'm going to move my academy over just a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, here's the part. This is the artistic part right now. Um, so, bear with me here. So, so you're going to select your paths tool. Okay? And what we'll do is, uh, and we're going to be using these instructions that I have a link to. You're going to see you start, start up, go down, over the bottom word, back over it back up. So let's let's start up here. So we're going to move in. It's a little bit over here. And we're going to go down about flush with or about on the same level as our second word. A little bit there. Then let's look here. We're going to be taking it over here about to well, see how it's going through our word. Then we're going to bring it back right about here. Okay, let's just adjust that a little bit. And then bring it on home here. And then let's bring it. Now, this is going to be the part that's going to confuse you. In order to make a path solid, like to join a path together, you have to, it's just like what we did with uh, the lasso tool. We've got to get to our the first point we started. Now, the difference is, is that we have to do something a little special. We have to press our press and hold your control button now. Look at how, look at this. Control button, see how it's clicking, there's two rings joining. We're going to join this last point here with this point. So press your control button and click on that first point. That just happened. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to make this a little nicer. So we're first going to bend out our um, this line here. Let's go ahead and let's look at our instructions here. Bend this out, okay? So we're bending it just like that. So let's take this out and instead of making a straight line, we're going to bend her out here, okay? And then we're going to bend this second line in as well. 
That is not too bad. And then just sort of straighten that up. And really, guys, this is not something that, like, you, there's not a right way to do this. It's just a way that you like, okay? So it's not really important that you, um, you know, make it perfect because there is no such thing as perfect. Just make it something pleasing to you, okay? See, I'm just adjusting things a little bit. There's really, there's no right answer for this. So that looks, you know what, that looks pretty nice for me. I'm happy with that, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a, uh, a gradient in, okay? Um, first, though, we have to go to our Paths menu, which actually you can also do your tool options too, but let's go to our Paths menu. And what we're going to do, remember for our last project we did this, go ahead here, we're going to click on the Path to Selection button. Okay. Now notice, notice, it only did a little bit of, uh, it only, the ants are only around one small part. That's okay. That's because we're right now in the layer we're on, we're in the text layer. So let's go ahead, let's make a new layer. So let's go to our layers menu. Let's go ahead, let's put a new layer, let's call it um, logo. Okay. Now, you see the ants going around the whole thing. Let's go ahead to our gradient menu because we want to fill this in with something cool. Okay, now the instructions suggest some craziness. You know what? There, again, there's no right answer with this, but I will give you some hints. So let's pick a cool gradient. I'm going to go ahead with, uh, let's go with Caribbean blues. That I'm, I'm feeling blue this morning, so let's go ahead with that. Now here's one thing that like I just found out. Uh, like if we, if we put our gradient in, that looks pretty nice, but I want to emphasize the fact, well, well just look what I'm going to do. Where it goes here to the shape button here, Play around with these. Like I tried this one, this angular shape here. Now watch this. And you can just click or you can do sort of like this. I like that a little more. I like how you got sort of, it goes with the shape of it. That's kind of my thing. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we got our stuff down. So we're going to now uh, pump up uh, the, uh, uh, the, 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 contrast and dial down the brightness. To do that, we first do a select none, then you go to colors, brightness on contrast, and you're going to be putting the uh, brightness down 25, and you're going to be putting the contrast up 35. So that's sort of, that looks not, that's looking kind of nice right now. Okay, so you click on that, there we go. So, uh, now we're going to adjust our layers a little bit. We're going to move our logo down. Okay. Now, this last part, this is kind of mm, sort of optional, but I think it really improves a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to add a shadow here. So let's go ahead here and go to Layer, Transparency, Alpha to Selection. That's going to select that logo thing there. Okay. What we're going to do then is we're going to make a new layer, okay, um, let's put here, we're going to say logo shadow, okay, now remember right now our, that logo spot is, is selected, so we're going to move that, uh, we'll keep it there for now, we're going to take our paint bucket, make it, and we're going to color it in black, that's supposed to happen, don't worry, then take the opacity down, 25%. Yeah, okay. 25%. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is we are going to move our logo shadow down one layer, and then we're going to get our move tool, okay? And we're going to just move it uh, just a little bit uh, down. Okay, so now watch this. I'm grabbing the wrong thing. Whoops. Okay. Make sure your logo shadows. Let's actually move that back up. I'll just move that down. Ah, there we go. So now we just move that down just a tiny bit. Looking nice. Got a nice little shadow. Okay, let's move that down now. Move that layer down. 
I'm happy with that. There we go. That's how you make a simple logo. I hope you enjoy yourself.